vlog every day and all. I don't have time for this because I'm already late doing the VidCon survey. I'm like almost a month late in doing this. And this is gonna be my Veda for the day. Uh, now I'm not gonna read all of the choices to you because that'll take, this, that'll take forever. I'm gonna read the choices to myself and then I'm gonna tell you which choice I choose. What was the primary reason you attended VidCon? Uh, I think at this point, my third year, it was to see friends slash make new friends. Oh, it's so cheesy, but it's true. What ended up being the most valuable experience you had at VidCon? Damn it, I have to say the same thing. See friends, make friends. Ah, during VidCon, what did you spend most of your time seeing slash doing? Select the three you did most, okay? If we go purely by the amount of time I spent doing each of these activities, I think it has to be creator panels, community panels, and hanging out. Number four, we had a wide array of programming this year. Which of the following activities were your favorite? Select up to three. I didn't like the community panels, so I can't choose that. Uh, the creator party, uh, the creator lounges, creator panels, hanging out, and I'm gonna say creator party just so that they don't cancel it. So maybe they'll do it again and maybe do it better this coming year. Number five, I'm glad I attended VidCon. Select one of these ranges of agreement. <laughs> I completely agree. Number six, I'm glad I selected a creator pass for VidCon this year. I completely agree. Number seven, I would like to attend VidCon again. I completely agree. The likelihood of me purchasing the creator track again is, you know, previous year that would have said very high, but this time I'm gonna say high because I might be broke next year. Number nine, how would you rate the following content? Creator panels. Um, excellent. Creator Q and A's. Not applicable, didn't attend any. Creator workshops. Uh, I tried to avoid them, so I'm gonna say not applicable. Uh, creator Keynote, um, poor, didn't like it. Creator Lounge, um, I'm gonna say good because there were some quiet moments, but damn, there needed to be a lot more quiet time. Uh, creator Party, uh, I don't want them to stop doing it, and I did have fun meeting some people there, but the way they did the music and dance was awful. Uh, I don't want to discourage them, so I'm gonna say good. Number 10, how much do you agree these sessions were informative? Creator panels, uh, informative, agree somewhat. Creator Q and A's, not applicable. Creator workshops, not applicable. Creator work keynote, uh, disagree completely. Creator lounge, um, neither agree nor disagree. Creator party, neither agree nor disagree. Number 11, how much do you agree these sessions were inspiring? Creator panels. Oh, agree completely. Creator Q&A, not applicable. Workshops, not applicable. Creator Keynote, completely disagree. Uh, the reason why I hated the Creator Keynote is because it was Creator 101. No. No. <clears throat> creator Lounge. <laughs> neither agree nor disagree. Inspiring. Uh, party, neither agree nor disagree. Uh, number 12. How many subscribers slash followers do you have on your primary platform of content creation? My primary platform of content creation is YouTube, and that's between 2,000 and 10,000. Number 13, how would you identify yourself? Okay, I'm actually gonna read you these choices. I work in online video, I'm a content creator. Online video content creation is my hobby or avocation. I'm a fan of creators. I'm a member of a community surrounding one or more creators or I'm a parent or chaperone. Okay, this question number 13 should have been check boxes so you could select more than one, first of all. Uh, but I'm gonna say I work in online video, I'm a content creator. Number 14, please specify how you work with online video. I feel like, again, this might have been better with check boxes. Um, I wanted to say I'm a part-time content creator and it says I profit from my content. I guess I do profit from my content, but not much. What if I wasn't? Hmm. I guess that's it. I guess I'm a part-time content creator. I profit from my content. I don't like that. I don't like that qualifier in the parentheses because even before I was doing Patreons and ads, I was still a part-time content creator. I don't. Uh. 
Number 15, with your work in online video, do you work by yourself or are you part of a company, group, team, or other collective? It is just me. It's, it's just me. 16, what did you go to creator panels for? None of the options given are quite right. If, in case you're not taking the survey, let me read them to you very quickly. To learn how to grow my own online presence, to learn about the online video industry, to learn about online video culture, to see my favorite YouTuber creator or specific speaker, to see interesting groups of creators interact, I did not go to any creator panels. None of those are quite, quite right, because some of the panels I went to because the topic that they were discussing was a topic I wanted to um, hear more opinions about. That's kind of the interesting group of creators in interact, I guess. Uh, likewise, some of the panels I went to, I went to because I wanted to support the topic and the people on the panel. I guess it's kind of that. Yeah, it's to, it's to hear the opinions. None of these say that. None of these had that as an option. It was to hear the opinions of some creators I respect about topics that are of interest to me. That's not listed here. So that's what I'm gonna write in as an other. To hear the experienced opinions of creators I respect about topics that are important to me. Keep your answer under 60 characters. Dang it. Son of a... This character limit sucks. That's gotta be under 60 characters. This is messed up. To see interesting groups of creators interact, I guess. Number 17, rate each statement from one to five according to how you felt regarding each situation. Where one is completely disagree, five is completely agree. Okay. The panels represented the state and key issues of online video. I agree. Maybe not completely, but I agree. Panelists were well suited to the subjects. Uh, more so this year than previous years, so I'm going to say I agree. Moderators were effective. Yes. Q&A time during panels was sufficient. Never true. So, disagree. Number 18, if you could suggest a creator panel for next year's VidCon, what specific subject would you choose? Well, this is somewhat self-serving of me, but I'm gonna say how larger creators can lift up smaller creators. Number 19, please rank the following types of creator track content from one, program you wanna see more of, to 10, programming you'd like to see less of. Uh, so my order of preference from things I wanna see more of, to things I wanna see least of, creator panels, creator workshops, creator discussions, creator party, creator lounge, creator lectures, creator how-tos, creator Q&As, creator product demos, and creator keynote. Number 20, if you'd like VidCon to have more creator workshops slash presentations slash how-tos, which of the following topics would you like to see? Check all that apply. Editing, channel management, analytics, audio, cameras, lighting, networking, sponsorships, that's it. Number 21, how would you rate the following sessions of the creator keynote? Matt Lieberman was very poor, Devin Graham was very poor, um, and then I don't think I really watched any of the others. Number 22, please rank the following brands from one, best place for you as a video content creator, to 10, worst place as a co video content creator. 23, please rank the following brands from one best place to build a fan base to 10 worst place to build a fan base. I'm not entirely sure what this has to do with VidCon, but okay. Number 24, on which of the following platforms do you post content? Check all that apply. I do Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Tumblr. Number 25, what did you go to community panels for? Select the most relevant answer. This once again, it would be to see interesting groups of creators interact. That was things like the representation panel. Number 26, rate each statement from one to five according to how you felt regarding each situation. Panels were fun, entertaining, and interesting. Four, panels represented the state and key issues of online video. Three, panelists were well suited to these subjects. Four, moderators were effective. Four. Number 27, if you could suggest a community panel for next year's VidCon, what specific subject would you choose? The dangers of fandom. Number 28, how did you hear about VidCon? Uh, I literally heard about it from my friend Alex Turlock, Turlockosaurus. 
I heard about it through a creator. Number 29, please select the social media sites you use to follow VidCon. I follow VidCon on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. 30, what is your age? I am 35 to 54. What, a, what the hell of a demographic? Uh, number 31, what is your gender? I could choose female, male, or write in other. Well done. Uh, but I'm going to go with male. Number 32, what is your level of education? Uh, uh, technically, some college. I'm going to go with some college. Number 33, where are you from? United States. If you are from the United States, which state? Should I still say Maryland, even though I've been in California for a little while now? I'm going to say California. How many VidCons have you attended? Three, including this one. Yeah. Number 36, do you have any other comments, ideas, or concerns to share? The Creator Track Party was a great idea, but was poorly organized. Could have used more refreshments. Come on. Come on. And had an actual dance floor <laughs> instead of just a camera that people danced around. Number 37. At your dream VidCon, what would the creator track provide you that it currently does not? Please give as much detail as possible. I really like the fact that VidCon has a mentorship program, um, but I think I kind of like that to be like a, a big sibling program. Like someone who's been to VidCon before can be a big sibling to someone who's never been to VidCon before. There's definitely some like safety issues involved with that, um, but as a concept, if it could be done safely, I would like that idea. Um, and I would happily be a big brother. Number 38, would you be willing to take a short call with us to discuss your survey answers in more detail? Yes. Please enter your email here. Number 40, thank you for... <laughs> hey, this is my line. Number 40, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. If you want to benefit from early registration and be entered in the drawing for two creator passes... <gasps> there's a free drawing! I didn't even know that! Pause. This is a super boring VEDA. I don't know why you watch it to the end, but like the survey said, thank you for making it all the way to the end. Um, do you have any thoughts, comments, responses to my answers? Please leave them in the comments below or tell me anything that matters to you because I want to know what matters to you. Here at the end is where I always say tomorrow will be even better. And by that I mean you won't just watch me filling out a survey.